My video last month about the world's biggest solar farm is, well, it's no longer true because there is now another world's biggest solar farm and it's even bigger, in fact, much bigger than the previous world's biggest solar farm. Guys, this is probably going to keep happening every single month for the next 20, 30, 40 years until, well, all the world is, well, almost all the world is pretty much completely dependent on solar, which is a hell of a lot being complete, a hell of a lot better than being completely dependent on coal, oil, and gas. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Just want to say a big shout out and thank you to our Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support us on Patreon, I'll put a link in the description and also YouTube members, guys. There will be a new YouTube member video today. Um, this solar farm, it is so insanely big that actually there's enough solar for 6 million people. And keep in mind, this solar farm is actually being built in China. So you can guarantee it will be done incredibly quickly. And not just incredibly quickly, but it will have some form of mega battery backup storage. I mean, what's China, the biggest, the biggest producer of batteries in the world by far. So more than likely, massive, massive battery will back up this huge solar farm meaning you know that peak that peak period in the evening the sun goes down 6 7 p.m up to about 10 p.m that's the prime time for energy use even in china it's the same as california same as the united states same as australia that's the prime time and that's when these when these big batteries jump in this integrated energy storage project will include four gigawatts of wind power as well plus four gigawatts of coal-fired power, no idea why that is, and 200 megawatts of solar, as well as a further five gigawatt hours of energy storage to be added as well. So, so far, there'll be a five gigawatt hour battery as well. It's operated by China's Three Gorges Renewable Corporation and construction will begin in September this year. It'll be finished apparently by around about the beginning of 2027. So about just over two years to complete this project. Now, if this was some sort of nuclear project, it would take a minimum of 10 years. That's not hyperbole, that's simply fact. 10 years is probably generous. For example, the Hinkley project, nuclear project, which is just coming online now in the UK, or actually not quite yet, I don't believe, that was actually begun, they began work, um, announced that around, I believe, 14 years ago. Anyhow. Plans for this new facility were announced just weeks after a five gigawatt complex was switched on in the northwest province of Yinyang, becoming the biggest operational solar plant in the world. So that one's turned on, that's five gigawatts. This is gonna be six gigawatts and this one will obviously be much bigger. Covering 200,000 acres in a desert region, the vast solar farm takes up the same space as New York City. In fact, it's just a little bit bigger than New York City. China has installed more solar power capacity than the rest of the world combined both last year and this year. And of course, that means much more than any other country. In fact, it has installed more than 600 gigawatts since November of 2023. China is also continuing to ramp up its solar capacity commissioning as much last year as every other country in the world combined in 2022, according to the International Energy Agency. While the increases in renewable capacity in Europe, the United States and Brazil hit all time highs, China's acceleration was extraordinary and far quicker, said the IEA. China's role is critical in reaching the global goal of tripling renewables because the country is expected to install more than half of the new capacity required globally by 2030. So basically the IEA is saying China will install more than half of the world's renewable energy between now and 2030. So really we are dependent on China to a large degree for our emissions, um, hitting our emissions targets. And this actually does make a lot of sense guys, because if you put it in this context, there's currently more than enough renewable energy for every single human being in China to just live, um, to basically consume only renewable energy, nothing else, no fossil fuels, nothing. There is more than 100% capacity for every single 1.35 billion people in China. But here's the thing, not for industry. 
industry is still burning enormous amounts of coal and gas, but primarily coal. But now China is, well, it doesn't like that. It doesn't like that it's, it's an eyesore. It's obviously bad for the air quality there. Um, the Chinese government's very well aware that it's also bad for health outcomes. They've probably seen the reports. I'm sure they've got their own reports from the United States saying there was millions of premature deaths in the United States between ever, over a 40 year period. And it was proven that coal does settle even up to 150 miles away. And it does cause premature deaths. In fact, 22 million premature deaths um, were blamed on coal over a, like I said, over that, I believe it was about a 40 year period. I mean, that is a huge number. Now, when I say premature, that could be two years, it could be 30 years. We don't know. Coal dust affects different people, people differently. But my point, my key message to you guys, after reading that report and seeing just how incredibly damaging coal dust is, don't live near one. If you live near one now, especially if you have young children, you cannot, you, you have to move. Now, I know that's difficult. I know that's hard, but you're probably not going to starve to death if you move. Yeah, financially, it will be a challenge, but what's worse, right? What's worse? Having some serious potential health outcomes, dying decades early, you've got to move. You've got to make sure you don't live near a coal plant. Now, if you do, and it's going to shut down next year, well, you know, that's all right, right? But anyway, the takeaway message is this, even with these coal power plants, honestly, many of them are shutting down. I'm reporting guys very regularly on these new renewable energy sites, solar sites being built on old coal power plants, even battery storage locations being built on these old coal power plants. You can't build anything else there, right? It's, it's basically dead land. You wouldn't want to build a house on this coal power plant. You'd be breathing in the dust for months and years, you know? So that's what they're doing. They're building these new renewable projects on these old, defunct, destroyed, coal power plants, even gas power plant locations as well. That's the future of the planet. It's pretty exciting to see. I mean, even this year alone, Europe now is over 50% in renewable energy capacity. So we're hearing this stuff. It can't be done. It can't be done. We can't actually have a grid that runs just on renewable energy, but we know that is false. It's a hundred percent false. We know that because South Australia, it's a, it's a city with it's a country, with, I mean, a state, sorry, I should say, with millions of people. We know that actually you can have a grid that runs entirely on renewables because, well, there's the evidence. Yes, it absolutely does work. Thanks for watching.